Thank you for tuning into this broadcast today. It's great to be coming to you today and sharing the good news of the gospel with you. If you're uh, on YouTube, I appreciate if you would subscribe and like that channel. I've got thousands of people up there that I've subscribed to on that channel. And I appreciate you following me on Facebook and on Twitter and also on LinkedIn. I'm several uh, several views on that in the, all those areas. So I would appreciate you uh, following me and and post your comments and anything that you want to share with me. I want to talk about God's special agents today. You know, and that that's uh, that encounters a lot of wonderful things about God's creation. God is a great creator. Many years ago, God created many angels, and is described in. Uh, Revelation chapter 5 and verse 11 in heaven, they were seen thousands upon thousands and ten thousands upon ten thousand of angels. And the Bible describes them many times as being not able to name all of them because there are so many of them. You know, we have, we're not supposed to worship angels. God has given angels and they've got ministering spirits and they come and help us in times of need. One person told me one time, we tell angels what to do. No, I don't think that's true. Uh, God tells angels what to do, and and no telling when they might show up. You know, I don't know that I've ever seen an angel before. I think they've been around me, but I don't recognize it. The Bible says that some men have entertained angels unaware, so we always need to be aware of the fact that God has these special agents that are around to help us in time of need. And I appreciate so much the fact that there's many of them, and they're mentioned in, in uh, 30 to 40 books in the Bible. You can find mentions of angels in the Old Testament and New Testament at least 250 times, which are a lot of numbers on the angels that exist. And I appreciate God the Father. You know where God the Father is our wonderful creator. His son Jesus Christ gave his life on the cross of Calvary. And then we have the great Holy Spirit that leads us into all truth. And we're to worship Jesus and worship God. And the Holy Spirit leads us to worship those people. And we're not to worship angels. They're not to be worshipped. We're to praise God in every situation and thank Him, all of the angels that praise Him. They're created. They don't have a soul. They'll live forever. They are existing all the time. They will never die. And thank God for all the angels today. And I want to tell you, be aware. Be aware of all the things that God might be able to do in your life and help you through the great Holy Spirit and recognizing the existence of angels and all of God's order that he plans since the foundation of the world. I thank you that God is with us today. I want to challenge you today. What do you think about God's special agents today? Maybe you have a story or something you can share with me, and I appreciate hearing from you. I thank you so much, and God bless you for tuning into this broadcast today. Okay. Okay, I I read you. Yeah.